Uh, so it says, um, hi Andreas, um, da, 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 da. I would like to get some advice uh, from you with respect to a career in data engineering as well as opportunities and facts about working in Germany. Um, now he says he's uh, deeply in love with the company, uh, with the with the country, and um, his goal is to go. He's from India, and he wants to go over and um, and work here in Germany. Um, and then I said uh, I tried a couple of things like writing to companies, creating a an account in Stepstone, and Sing. Sing is a Stepstone is a job portal and Sing is a is a social media site that is mostly German. I'm also on Sing, but I'm not really using it because I'm not producing uh, stuff for in German, and I don't have I have so less time for uh, for social media already, so I cannot to another platform so uh, he is created on stepstone and sing took a course on how to build a proper uh, lebenslauf and anschreiben and bewerbungsunterlagen which is basically the uh, the stuff you need um, it's your cv and and so on and the cover letter and so on in in german uh, I managed to prepare the same in German, so this is all already a good start, and I got corrected by some German friends. However, uh, they are working in different technologies, which I think does not really care. Uh, I did uh, manage to get noticed by some... Um, what is that uh, named in, in... Yeah, by some guys uh, from HR, but I have been, uh, been receiving um, negatives. So uh, the first thing now, okay, I don't, yeah, I don't know how your how your CV and everything if that looks very good or, um, but that doesn't matter right now. Um, some connected with me on LinkedIn uh, and asked if I'm in Germany at the moment. However, when I said I'm currently in India and working for this. Uh, they didn't connect further. I uh, would highly appreciate advice. Um, as the repeated failures at times uh, tend to demotivate me. I would like to know what I'm doing wrong or what I can do in addition to uh, current skills so I can increase chances of landing a job. Um, this, this now it says, uh, again, salary doesn't matter that much. Um, it just wants to get over here. And so I can understand um, the fact here that he he's uh, he wants to work in Germany um, because he has a interest in the company. Uh, in, yeah, I'm always saying company in the country, and um, from what he has heard, uh, he like he he's, he wants to go over here, and now what a good step here is already. It seems like then he uh, at the end he wrote something in in German which I ca which really makes sense and uh, uh, it's it's totally okay. Um, a lot of people want to co uh, come over here and uh, look for a job. They can't even speak German or understand German, which uh, is a is super negative because um, I I always say. Um, if you only come to if you come to Germany and you can only speak English, you're a bit in a disadvantage. Uh, in the workplace, it's uh, f let's say from the from the professional point of view, that's not a problem because most people can speak English, and so yeah, um, it's that's not an issue. The issue, however, is then during a workday when people um, um, then talk not directly to you, they talk uh, between themselves, they are going to switch into German. And so um, interesting stuff or, or social stuff you cannot pick up because they are not speaking English, they're speaking German and then this is not that much fun. Yeah, and um, so he he always he already can't uh, he already can speak and write German. Uh, 
he has all the documents in German and now here's the problem he he um, correctly already found out the problem uh, people ask if he is in Germany right now and uh, when he says no then people are uh, not interested any further uh, that might be not so clear from from a foreigner but the 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 usual way you hire somebody in Germany or the traditional way is um, to invite him and then he comes to you and then you have a uh, you have a meeting and uh, he's going to he's going to tell tells a bit about himself and you and then um, you have a dialogue so you learn to know the people and you learn to know the guy and then yeah um and then you're thinking more about hiring it's not that uh you make a skype meeting and that's it and then you hire people from skype uh i have to admit i'm the same way i'm i would not only in special instances i would hire people um because i know them for a longer time because i have interacted with them on social media for a longer time then I think I would I would hire somebody uh, from a, f a foreign company uh, from a foreign country uh, without f first meeting him. But um, usually this is this is I guess in this case as well is the main problem here. So um, he's not in Germany. He cannot be invited uh, for a meeting, and that's a that's the issue. So. Yeah, the first, the f the only advice that really makes sense is to come over here and uh, and or, or try to come over here. I would say uh, not start directly with, or, or you can apply to jobs, but apply to internships. Try to get an internship somewhere, and uh, yeah, try maybe. I don't know how, how viable this is. Try to to study study somewhere, uh, and while you're here, then search a job. But um, yeah, another. I I don't really see another way, um, because most companies are not going to hire you without for without first seeing you here. Uh, so this is this is an issue and or the it's not, it's not the companies aren't hiring you the people are hiring you and i i think for interns it's not uh, it it could be possible um yeah it's it's tricky so the the advice here uh for this guy i would give is is try to get to germany and uh, stay here for i don't know how how to how you can do that if you have uh if you have a a way of studying here or or try to get an internship first and while you're here search search for jobs um i know this guy here he's already skilled so he he uh, can go into uh into a job but um, yeah, that's the main thing.